नमस्कार फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एक्सटेंड माय सिंसियर थैंक्स टू द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स ऑफ दिस नाइन्थ इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमन वैल्यूज फॉर हायर एजुकेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गिव यू द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ अवर एसोसिएशन विथ यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमन वैल्यूज we started our association with universal human values in 2017 and at that time what we found large number of students in our educational institutions they were under depression some of them they were committing suicide and then it was realized to start some program which can make our students to understand the their life their family their society and they can they are capable to handle the pressure day to day pressure whether it is professional press pressure or pressure of their studies so we started that universal human value programs and interacted with universal human value team so initially we constituted two committees national committees one committee for induction program we decided that third three weeks induction program mandatory induction program in all higher technical education institution and to conduct this induction program we need trained faculty then immediately we started a another committee that is national committee on universal human values with the task to train faculty to conduct these induction program and the courses on universal human values in our institutions now initially we thought that all these programs they will be conducted in face to face mode and uh, we also started human value in faculty induction program uhv1 is part of student induction program in the model curriculum we included all these things in our model curriculum and uhv1 was part of the induction program in model curriculum and uhv2 is a three semester course was designed uh, three three credit course was designed and that was for the second semester similarly a minor degree course of 18 credits was developed along any student who is pursuing his undergraduate program he can undertake this course 18 credit course and get minor degree along with his usual degree in uni- universal human values then we also started that because large number of students they are coming from the rural areas so we need to conduct all these faculty development programs in their own languages and that's why a decision was taken to translate all the material in un, uh, this uhv's uh, universal human values in their in the nine indian languages and for the self learning it was decided to prepare swim courses on swim portal and also nodal centers because india is a large country everything cannot be handled from the delhi so it was decided to start nodal centers uhv nodal centers across the country so in 1980 to 192 in to 2017 if you take only uhv team efforts were only in 40 plus universities in 10 states because aict has nationwide presence when 2017 aict joined hand with the uhv team we could reach in almost all part of the country right from the northeast to kashmir jammu and kashmir we could reach and we could conduct the programs aict starts focused efforts in incorporating human values in technical education ipc formed at aict 
now we call it ipc means induction program cell now we call it universal human value cell now national coordination committee on Indu induction program formed to implement student induction program and universal human value program and follow up with regular level input this was also make part of the model curriculum now in 2019 our national coordination committee on universal human value started and developed this universal human value programs of higher level and 20 online fdp started because we have to stop this offline faculty development programs just because of covid and i am happy to share that our uhv team used technology developed technology during this covid time so that they can could reach effectively to the remotest part of the country with the help of technology and this they modified this uh, lms accordingly they were doing this data analysis they were conducting quizzes in between since 2020 they are conducting all these quizzes in between this faculty development program online <coughs> in 21 minor degrees were approved which were of 18 credit 22 translation work was started this was done purely by the volunteers of our team and 23 uh week for holistic value based education vision document released at akal akhil bhartiya shiksha samagam new delhi uh week services extended to social organization like rajya anand sansthan mp and in 24 uh week has reached every state of the nation in 24 we are now in every state of the nation where more than 80000 faculty has got been trained has been oriented and 2037 universities has appointed university coordinators on human values so this is this was a journey of uh, this universal human value program now what we observed through the inter interaction that with the faculty or with the students those who are attending this induction program and the faculty those who are attending this uh, fdps that increase in clarity of purpose happiness and prosperity a more inclusive holistic and human world vision and internal and internal compass their natural acceptance therefore a feeling of swatantrata with an increased sense of responsibility increased sense of commitment towards relationship particularly in the family workplace and society by understanding trust respect gratitude love and compassion commitment towards excellence increased productivity increased sense of responsibility feeling of responsibility towards development of society and nation a deep sense of gratitude and commitment towards elders human culture and religion relief for confusion peer pressure tension and depression now i would like to share one thing with you that because large number of faculty attended this program one faculty wrote to the pmo and this was a unique type of uh, grievance or what you can say complaint appreciating the faculty development program their delivery their organization everything he was ap appreciating <coughs> but the where he was having complaint is that he didn't get the certificate the complaint was forwarded to us by pmo in turn we forwarded this complaint to our uhv team and then they analyzed it they found that the candidate registered by one email id and submitted their assignments by second some other email id which was not permissible that because they are very sensitive 
to their when when they are issuing the certificates so they are very sensitive that no bogus certificate must be issued <coughs> then they analyzed and found that this mistake has been done by the candidate but in the meantime they appreciated the student uh, that uh, he has full faith in this universal human, human value and he is a follower this of this human value and immediately certificate was issued to that faculty so this is one thing i would like to share now <coughs> this long term uhv impact reported by institutions the faculty student alumni and volunteers they they shared their experiences faculty share reduced stress level higher satisfaction improved interpersonal relationship and faculty cooperation as well as higher sense of responsibility towards teaching and students students shows greater academic sincerity and results improved self discipline and conduct less destructive tendency stronger mentorship and volunteerism increased involvement in all societies and greater social responsibility alumni report appreciable teamwork collaboration productivity and leadership potential holistic solution centric approach problem solving and clarity of root cause of good work life balance volunteers indicate that they are able to keep in touch with the content refine their own understanding develop and work in teams and at the same time contribute to a worthy cause so these were the some <coughs> feedback from the uh, faculty student and uh, other stakeholders now then we thought that we should also give this uh, to the impact study of this faculty development program to some institutes so we choose irma to do a impact analysis of the faculty development program irma conducted this uh, impact analysis they contacted with uh, 20, more than 27000 plus participants from 5000 plus institutions from 34 34 more than 30 from 34 states and union territories and they found that an enhanced need of to develop holistic human world vision understand the life in harmony purpose of education shift from skill to skill guided by human values life goal shift from competition to excellence prosperity is beyond accumulation includes understanding need production and responsibilities shift from exploiting nature to contributing to its harmony so these are some of the uh, recommendations or findings by the irma this irma report will be discussed in the later part of this uh, conference in my representative will discuss those who have conducted this study they will uh, share more about this report with the in this conference now what are the key reasons or key strength of the re- universal human values for a big for for this for such for all these achievements first of them is the content content of this universal human values are holistic universal rational verifiable humane leading to harmony as well being for all <clears throat> process self exploration committed pro bono national team we have around 500 plus volunteers those who are contributing conducting and taking this movement forward on pro bono basis this is this is a real volunteerism i can call it it's a real volunteerism now our plans are future plans are that we want to translate this material in all indian languages 
propagating this to all <coughs> higher education institutions, not only AICT but all other higher education institution, establishing ten national universal human values nodal centers by 2025, making our learning and UHV resource material and resource team available to the society at large. So this is <coughs> this is our plan, future plan. And one important thing I would like to share that our chairman, Professor T.G. Sitaram, he has a great passion to take this movement forward. He is interacting with the coordination teams, national teams, and giving all the help what AICT can provide in the smooth conduct of this uh, initiative and conducting faculty development program. Now, UGC has also come forward and uh, has, he has also started uh, uh, taking this uh, movement. They are also becoming part of this movement and all other institutions, uh, those who are not AICT affiliated institutions, uh, they are also joining hands and MMTTCs requested to conduct training programs in collaboration with the NCCIP AICT on universal learning values, universal human values, as an effort towards inclusion of human values in higher education institutions. <coughs> now they have started human values in faculty induction program, Guru Dakshita, human values in students induction program, they have started, and human values and professional ethics Mulya Prava, they have started, and curriculum of life skills, Jeevan Kaushal, they have started. So all such things, uh, good thing, they have also started. So this is a movement which started in higher education in 2017, and it is showing results. And one important thing is that large number of cases of depression, there were large number of cases of depression in suicide up to 2016. But after starting these courses, it th there is a trend <coughs> and these cases have reduced up to a large extent. But we have to work and we have to take these cases up to zero. We want that we should have an education system where our students, they study, they move forward and without any tension. With all these words, I once again thanks the organizers of this conference for inviting me and sharing my views to the participants of this international conference. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Jai Bharat.